Are you tired of hiking all the way to your trail cameras just to swap a few batteries? I know I was, so that's why I made the switch to solar and stopped using AA batteries in my trail cameras. And not just any solar panel, I'm talking about one that will get you months of life even in the middle of the forest where there's hardly any sunlight. One that will make it through those weeks and weeks of cloudy weather in the winter. So for more details, stick around and find out not only what this solar panel is capable of, but why we believe it's one of the best ones on the market. What's going on guys? I'm Ryan with Scout Tech and today we're going to talk solar panels. Why we think they're so crucial to run alongside your cellular trail cameras. We're going to specifically talk about this solar panel right here and why we believe it's the last one you'll ever have to purchase for your trail cameras. But most importantly, I just wanted to share with you guys some of my real world test results from not only running this solar panel, but many others over the past years and just kind of give you my thoughts and opinions on it. Now I know when searching the internet for a new solar panel, all you can really do is view that spec sheet. It doesn't really answer those questions that you guys have, like how many photos and videos can I get on a single charge? Or how many months will this last me in the woods before I have to recharge it? Or will I have to recharge it? So before I keep rambling on, let's get into the why. Now I want you to ask yourself, if you're like me and the majority of the others out there, why have you made the switch from a non-cellular trail camera to a cellular trail camera? And you're probably thinking, well, not only do I get real-time notifications when there's activity, but for one, you don't have to drive all the way to that property sent up the woods just to pull that SD card and view a couple photos. Now that's great and all, but it completely defeats the purpose if you're going to be driving out there every few weeks anyways to swap batteries. I mean, if you're going to spend the money on a cell cam, spend the money on a data plan, you might as well use it what it's meant for, and that's to set it and forget it. And I mean, for such a small investment, guys, not only will you get months and months of life out of that trail camera, it's just going to save you lots of time and money and headache in the long run. I mean, when you factor in not only things like AA batteries, but gas, and like I said, just your time to go out there and fool with it, these things ultimately pay for themselves. Now, before we talk about what's all included in the package and we get into test results and all that, I just wanted to give you guys a little backstory on us. And I'm sure those of you familiar with Scout Tech and have been in our store have noticed that we've only resold the SP18 solar panel from Exodus. This one just recently hit our stores because we've been doing lots of testing. And for those of you unfamiliar with Scout Tech, we are not our own trail camera company. We do, however, partner with many camera companies such as Exodus, Radix, Bow Creek, and many others, and just assist them with the more technical side of things. But because we are not our own trail camera company, we at least want to provide you guys with any accessories that you may need. And like I said, when we're looking for a solar panel, we wanted something that would not only run with every single one of our trail cameras, but something that's a little more heavy duty. And I believe we found it with this solar panel. This solar panel here is the STP25A from Scout Tech. It retails in our store for $125. And if you pull the solar panel out the package and set it aside, right away you'll notice it comes with a nice U-mount. For those of you who hunt public and can't screw into a tree, it also comes with a nice tree strap. And it comes with five supplied cables. So right out the box, guys, it comes with everything that you need to get up and going. There's no extra purchases that you'll have to make. And like I said, between these five cables, they should be able to power any trail camera that you guys have. Now, if you look over onto the solar panel itself, you'll notice it has a 6, 9, and 12 volt port. And because this is such a large capacity solar panel, you can actually get away with powering two cameras at once with no problem at all. It also has a USB and a USB-C port so you can charge your devices. Not saying that you would buy the solar panel specifically for that, but let's say you're not running cameras, you could take it with you camping. Or if you're like me and you're just out at your property doing some property management, it's always nice to have that option to be able to charge your phone on site. Now, if you flip the solar panel over and look at the back, you'll notice it has three separate ports, so you can mount it either closer to a tree, further from a tree. And another pretty neat feature is that it supports a Python cable. And what we've noticed is that if you mount your camera close enough to that solar panel and the diameter of that tree is not too large, you can actually get away with using one Python cable for both the camera and the solar panel, which I thought was pretty cool. All right, let's get into the test results, the numbers. I know that's what you guys have been waiting for. But you guys should just know that because I work at Scout Tech, it's my job to test trail cameras, test solar panels. So the settings that I run are not necessarily everyday settings you guys would run. I mean, I'm trying to break these things, see what they're capable of. So for my very first test, I fully charged this solar panel, brought it in the house, turned it upside down, and I threw a towel over it. 
I did that because I clearly didn't want any light to reach that solar panel. I wanted to test the battery capacity of that panel alone. Another misconception I get from customers all the time is, if I put rechargeable batteries in my trail camera, will the solar panel recharge my AA batteries? No, it will not. The solar panel itself has its own internal batteries built in, which the panel will recharge. So in running this test, it should be noted that I did not use any AA batteries in my cameras. Even during normal operations like this camera right here does not have AA batteries in it. Why? Because I want to set it and forget it and I don't want those batteries to corrode in a year or two or however long that camera is sitting out there for. So for the very first test, I plugged up my camera. I had it in time lapse mode every five minutes upload interval real time. So every five minutes my phone was going off with a new photo and I also had on demand turned on. For those of you unfamiliar with Scout Tech settings, on demand being on just means the cellular module inside that camera has constant power. That way it's awake and ready to receive real time commands, obviously using more juice. So we ran this test, getting a photo every five minutes, day and night, and the solar panel lasted 18 days and just shy of 5,000 photos. And remember guys, that's 18 days and around 5,000 photos on a single charge with no sunlight at all touching that solar panel. We ran that exact same test with the same camera with a few of our other solar panels and they only lasted about a third of the time. And you may be saying, well, this solar panel is much larger. Of course it lasted three times as long. But that is not what impressed me the most about this solar panel. What really impressed me the most about this was after that test was done, we brought it outside, stuck it on a tree, plugged that same camera up, again with no AA batteries inside, and within three minutes it had enough juice to not only power that camera up, it continued to send me photos every five minutes, all day and all night for the next seven or eight days until I eventually changed settings because I got tired of seeing the same photo over and over. But as far as everyday normal operation, you know, settings you guys will be running, I'm currently running about seven of these right now. Multiple brands of cameras, none of which have AA batteries in them. Some in photo mode, some in video mode, all of them in real time. And so far they've been running for six months or longer and I have yet to pull a single solar panel and recharge it. So I mean guys from my testing it seems like these things can just handle any job I can throw at it. Like I said it's strong enough to power two cameras at once if that's what you're into. I mean this is exactly what we were looking for when we were trying to find a solar panel for our store you know. For you northern hunters who get weeks and weeks of cloudy weather during the winter time. For those of you who hunt in the middle of the forest I know how much of a pain that can be to hike all the way in there just to swap a couple batteries out. Now I understand this solar panel may not be suited to everyone, maybe it's a little too large for you, but if you really want a solar panel where you can just set that camera and forget it and know you will not have to return to it to swap batteries, this is the solar panel for you. I mean I could be a little bit biased but I think this is the best solar panel on the market and so far, like I said, I have yet to pull one because it's died on me. So I'm not going to bore you guys with all the specs and details on this solar panel. However, I will post it in the description below. But like I said, this thing is phenomenal and I'm not telling you how to run your trail cameras. I'm not telling you to go against any manufacturer's recommended settings. But ever since I've been using this solar panel, I have not used AA batteries in my camera. And as of this recording, everyone who has bought one has returned and bought another one at least and people seem to be happy with it so if you're the one that's using this i would like to know your thoughts and comments on it and as always guys my name is ryan if you have any questions comments or anything like that feel free to reach out to us at support at scouttech.com